Hi, right, so we're gonna go ahead and fix this broken VEX connector here, okay? And the parts we're gonna use, if we take a look, uh, this is on Amazon, so it's this Hitachi uh, 2.454 uh, millimeter pin, okay? And then uh, the tool that we're gonna use is going to be um, this uh, crimper. It's the same crimper as this was right here. Okay, and it's the just the crimping tool for the 2.54 millimeter pin. Okay, so at this point. Okay, so uh, here we go. And we're going to go ahead and start uh, fixing it. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to take a, um, a uh, um, razor blade and we're just going to pop open these two pins right here. Okay, so if you look. We're just going to go ahead and just pop that right up there. Now, we don't break it. We're just going to bend it up a little bit, okay? And we're going to do that on all of them. Even if even if only one is broken, you have to do it on all of them, okay? Now, by doing that, that's going to release all those pins. So we're just going to go ahead and pull that out just like that. Now, you want to remember that on in this case, in the VEX connector, there's like a little uh, slot right there. You want to remember which color is on there, okay? All right, so now we have a broken pin. <clears throat> All we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, and just remove that. Now, the problem here is that you have to remove all of the pins, okay? Uh, even if only one is broken, because by as soon as you cut off one pin, they're not going to be even when you put them back in, so they all have to go. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and strip the wire. Okay, so uh, going to go ahead and strip all the wires. Um, the wire, we want it about that size, if that makes any sense. About, I'd say that's, you know, Three millimeters, maybe, something like that. Okay, you want it roughly the same for all the pins. Okay, so we have that. Now we're gonna go ahead and twist the wires, ends. All right. <clears throat> now the pins are gonna come uh, in this particular kit. The pins come in a, um, the pins come in like a, 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 a row like this. So what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to go ahead and clip those off of the, um, There we go. Sometimes it's easier to work from the other end for some reason. So, uh, okay, so we clip off the last pin here. Whoops. All right, so uh, you wanna make sure that these pins are, are not uh, bent or anything. Okay, now what we're gonna do is that these are gonna fit in the last crimper jaw right here, okay? And how you're gonna orient this is you're gonna notice that the crimper jaw has two different sizes. So if we, if we, if we um, push it all the way down like this, you'll notice that one size is smaller, one side is smaller than the other, okay? So what we're gonna want is we want the pins sticking out of the smaller side, okay? So basically that's how we're gonna set it in there. So we're just gonna let, we're gonna put the, the jaws like this, we're gonna set the pin with the, the portion where we're gonna put the wire in the back, I'm holding on to the front end of the pin. Okay, we put that in and we're just gonna kind of even it up with the back side. Notice how that pin is even with the back there, okay? Um, sometimes what you have to do is you might have to bend these pins a little bit just to get them in. And notice that it kind of locks in place. So now we have that pin, it's even with the side and it's kind of sticking out like that. Okay, now we're gonna take one of the wires and we're gonna put this in uh, into uh, the side. You have, wanna see that the wire kind of pushes through and you wanna see that it sticks out towards the pin side, okay? And it's kind of hard to see in this case, but uh, I'm gonna make it kind of stick out to the pin side there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and crimp. I just push all the way down and the, it will release. So you get it stuck right here, you push it in and it will release. Okay, so I'm just gonna go to two more real quick. In this case, my uh, my metal bent up a little bit. You might have to adjust the metal uh, on the uh, carriage end of it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in and you'll get kind of real used to doing this. So. Okay, so that's kind of locked in there. And we're gonna go ahead and do the next pin. 
Now it does actually matter, you know, um, you want to have the um, kind of the solid metal side down. Um, so you remember the, that the white pin went in on the left hand side of my, uh, my green component. So notice that the, the open end of the pin is on the left hand side too, so we'll go right back in there. Okay, last one. Okay, so now we have... <clears throat> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and slide that in again. Okay, we checked that the wire is on the right-hand side. We checked that the uh, plastic's going all the way in the crimper. Okay, we go ahead and crimp it, and this is the end result, right? So we have the three, three uh, pins back on the wires, and now we're gonna go ahead and push those back into the component. Now, if this is not done, like if, sorry, if this, if this green component is, is not working correctly, you can go ahead and add these in. So this comes with the kit. Um, the three pins you'll notice are just the same size as just the green pin. If you look at that, it's just the green pin without the extra uh, kind of flap here. So it will work in the in the Vex Cortex if you put it back in. Um, it'll just be a little bit loose, so. Okay, so you check that you have it on the right side. Now these are a little bit tough to get back in sometimes, so uh, so they will fit. Just put it, push it back in a little bit, and we're trying to get it to stick out the front side here. So occasionally you have to be a little bit, uh, you have to kind of control those a little bit. <laughs> there you go. You're gonna get it to stick out just a little, and then you're gonna use the ends of, of a tool to just kind of pull them through like this. Um, and you might have to go to kind of one at a time there. Okay. All right, so that's it. You just kind of push the, the clips back down, and there we have it. It's all fixed, so it's uh, good as new. All right, uh, good luck.